now playing Overwatch in all these years, there's definitely a lot of different types of players you run into. In today's video, we're going to be analyzing Genji players, whether that be the pro Genji or a cringe e-boy. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first one is going to be the max sensitivity Genji. This type of Genji player hops on YouTube and looks up a crazy Necros montage and sees that he's doing crazy 180, 360, 720 dash blades and he believes that he's him. So he cranks his sensitivity all the way to 100 and tries to cosplay as Necros when in reality he might not be him because his max sense is not allowing him to hit any of his shots. These Genji players will try to be friends with you and then all of a sudden they move their mouse two inches and start spinning like a hundred times in one spot. They're kind of funny, but they're not really effective at what they do. Main character Genji. Now by being a main character Genji, you're always going to be blaming your teammates rather than looking at yourself. And always try to pull off the hero moments. Even though everyone is dead on the team, you see that you have Blade and five people in front of you. Rather than thinking you're going to get blown up immediately for whipping out your wet noodle and screaming Japanese words, you think that you're him. You think that you're going to whip out your blade and impress an E-kitten by wiping the whole team. When in reality, you're just not him. And then when you die, you're going to blame your teammates for no heals. These players are probably going to be pretty obnoxious and might be hard stuck gold always trying to 1v5 for no damn reason. The Sniper Genji when it comes to this Genji, this guy lives off satisfaction. This type of Genji player believes, why swap to Widowmaker when I can make you shoot yourself? He might be trying to collect clips for his ASMR deflect montage. Not only that, this guy likes to poke a lot. And he likes shooting his three shurikens and hearing those three dinks go off in his head making him splooge a little bit. The stubborn Genji. Now I myself am low key a culprit of this, but this type of Genji refuses to switch even if you're getting railed by every counter because you believe you're not gonna get better unless you keep fighting these people. Even if they have Azaria, Sim, Moira, Mei, you don't care. You believe that you're just better and you can thug it out. But in reality, if you swap to someone like Cass, you might have a better time. The E-Boy Genji. This Genji usually has a fake deep voice whenever he goes in the team chat and probably came from Valorant and main jet. These types of Genji players are usually duoing with their E-Kit and Mercy or healer and is usually on a smurf account to try to boost his ego and at the same time try to impress his E-girl in the call. Oh, she's saying, oh my god, you're so good. And saying, thanks kitten, it was just another day in the office. <laughs> Pro Genji. For the pro Genji, you might want to hide your kitten from this guy. Probably in top 500, and perhaps an ex Overwatch League player. Now this type of Genji probably has gone through all the past stereotypes, but actually gets away with it. Now this pro Genji might be the reincarnation of Itachi, cause this motherfucker jumping, dashing, cartwheeling, butt booty naked around your team. And then when you're blinking for 5 seconds, he's wiped out your entire clan. Or team. These players are probably depressed, scrimming for 10 hours a day, and might stink a little bit. So, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much. If you guys find yourself matching one of these stereotypes, let me know which one down below. Like the video helps me out a lot more than you think. Subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends, and as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.